Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to collaborate as a team on a Unity project. So there is a lot of tools available to do that. But in this video, I'm going to talk about a Git client called SourceTree. And I'm going to use SourceTree and GitHub to work on a single project with multiple people. Note that one of the most important things that they ask you in a job interview is that if you familiar with source control or version control, and if you can collaborate on a project with your teammates. So as I mentioned, Source Tree is only one of the many options available for you. And the reason I chose this and GitHub is because both of them are free and you can start working with these tools first and work your way up to more complex and more advanced tools. So to start, you can go to the sourcetreeapp.com. I'm going to put the link in the description and you can download the last version of the Source Tree client available either for your Mac Mac OS or your Windows. You also need to install Git, but even if you don't, when you're installing Sorcery, there is an option for you to also download and install Git as well. And of course, you need a GitHub account, create a repository for the project that you and your teammates are going to work on. So after you install the Sorcery, go ahead and open it. And here in the remote panel, you'll see that there is an option to add an account. You can use this option to add your account to this list. So as you can see, I've already added my GitHub account and there are my repositories listed here. Now I can simply go to the GitHub and inside the repositories area, I can create a new repository and let's just name it source tree test and you can choose the option for public or private based on your need and you need to add a git ignore which is an important step so github has already made this job easy for you so you can easily click on this area and search for unity and after that you can go ahead and choose a license for your project and create the repository so as you can see there is just an empty repository with only a git ignore file inside it now this is going to be the repository which you and your team are going to work on so before you and your team start working on this first go to the source tree and you'll see if i refresh this the source tree test repository is going to show up here so go ahead and create a folder somewhere inside your computer i'm just going to call it project and inside my source tree, I'm going to select the source tree test that we just created and clone that. And we can clone any repository on our local computer. But before we clone the repository, let's actually go to the Unity Hub and create the project first. So I'm going to create a new project and let's just name it test. And I'm going to put it in the folder that we created in the desktop. So this way it's going to create a blank project for us. So let's go to the source tree and select your account, then select the repository that you want to work on and select clone. And now we need to select a folder on our local computer for this repository. So to do that, let's go back to the desktop and the folder we created. So that is the Unity project that we created. We're going to use that later, but for now, let's create a new folder. I'm going to name it test repository and if we go back to the source tree and select the test repository folder and click clone you'll see that repository was created for us and if we go ahead and check out the contents of the test repository you'll see that it brought all the files from the repository to our local computer now any change we make inside this test repository is going to be tracked by source tree so right now we can close our unity project and if i go to the test folder which all the files of the unity project that we just created i'm gonna select them all and cut them and bring them inside our test repository and paste them here and i can just go ahead and delete the test folder now if i go back to the source tree you'll see that it is going to bring up a list of all the files that i just added to the repository so as i mentioned any change you make inside this test repository folder is going to be tracked 
by source tree so as you can see there is a bunch of buttons here that you could use to send your changes to the remote repository which is here on github so first of all let's cover the commit button so commit button is just something like the save button that you see in many softwares so whenever you commit the changes all those changes are not going to be saved on the remote repository which is here in github it only going to be saved on your own computer so sometimes during the development you could do multiple commits and whenever something went wrong and you didn't like the changes you made you can revert back to the last commit that you made and all those things happens on your local machine the changes you commit are not going to be applied to the remote repository so after you made all the changes you wanted and you've decided you want to apply the changes to the remote repository you're gonna click push so basically push and pull are opposite of each other so whenever you push any changes you made to the project is going to be saved here on the github repository and whenever you pull all the changes that has been made on the repository maybe some of those changes has been made by your teammates are going to be applied to your project so let's actually go ahead and commit these changes first so before we commit we need to click this button here and the items are going to go to this area and this is the list of the files that we're going to commit so for the commit we also need a text so other users know what things you changed so i'm just gonna say created blank unity project and i'm gonna click commit so as i mentioned when you commit the changes are not going to be saved on the remote repository now let's go ahead and click push as you can see we can apply these changes using the push button so let's do that i'm gonna click push and let's see what happens so after the push if we go back to the github repository and refresh the page you'll see that all the changes are here now and as you can see the commit text says created blank unity project so just like that you can push and pull data to and from your online remote repository so let's go back to the unity editor and if i go and remove this test project from my list and now we can click open and go to the projects folder and choose the test repository folder so now if we go to the source tree and go to the commit area you'll see that there is nothing to commit and let's go back to the unity editor inside the assets folder let's create a script i'm just going to name it test and now if i go back to the source tree you'll see it's going to detect the changes and show me a list of files that has been added to the project so we can just simply make a commit and let's just say add a test script and hit commit and if i push the changes you'll see that if i go back to the remote repository and if i go to the assets folder you'll see that there it is the test script so simply like that we can make changes to our project and using source tree apply those changes to the github repository and whenever you want to add new members to the team you can just go ahead and select the repository go to the settings here in the collaborators and teams you can just simply add as many people and as many teams as you want to your project and whenever you add a member to your repository and if they go to their source tree account and inside the remote area and if they add their account the repository that they are collaborating on is going to show up here they can simply just clone it they don't have to create the unity project anymore that's just for the first time you create the repository after that other members just gonna clone it open it using unity and start working on the project because the project has already been created and exists on github so let's say you add another member to your repository and that team member starts editing the project so let's go to the assets and let's say this team member is going to add a file here in the assets let's create a new file and i'm just gonna name it member script.cs and for the text let's just say hello world 
and we can just go ahead and commit the changes let's say add a member script here you go if i go to my assets folder you'll see that there is two scripts here now one of them is test which was created by the original member of the team and now there is this member script that has been created by another team member and has been pushed into our online github repository so if we go to the unity project now we don't have that member script so to apply all the changes that other members made to the project we can go back to the source tree and here in our test repository we can pull the changes so whenever I hit the poll, it is going to get all the changes from the online repository and apply it to your local project. So now if I go back to the Unity project, you'll see that another script has been added called member script. So just like this, you can make any changes to the project as you want and do it as a team. Of course, it would be better to coordinate your actions with other team members to avoid any interference with each other. And as I mentioned, there's a lot of tools that you can use to collaborate on a Unity project. Source3 and GitHub is only one of them. And the reason reason I chose Source 3 and GitHub is because they're both free and very easy to use and I suggest you start using this and once you familiarize yourself with how to collaborate on a project you can try other options and learn those options as well. Note that the most important things that they will ask you in the Unity job interviews is source control or version control so basically how you can control your source code and collaborate on a project with other team members so if you're planning to get hired in a game development company you'll definitely need to learn how to work with a team feel free to ask me any questions that you have please don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you very much for watching this video